Yankura market is one of those markets that residents of Kano State often visit uh, to purchase their perishable uh, goods, especially things like tomatoes, uh, onions. They often get it very, very cheap uh, in this market. But we want to find out from those who have come to this market ever since the removal of subsidy on fuel and the increase in the price of fuel, we try to find out to get from the residents the price uh, of things in the market. And here I have uh, one of the residents who want to share with us uh, the situation in this market. Hello. This market, before people, they come buy tomatoes. Tomatoes, they cheap. And the Siena to come is a problem. You can't buy tomatoes. You cannot enter this side the tower of it. If I did the now they don't increase them. From here to that place, now they will tell you, say, 250. Before, it's 50 naira. Now, now 250 will they pay. They say, where don't cost. And they ask, see tomatoes. You can't buy tomatoes. See this one, this lady, when I hold now. Now, before, now sort of uh, 100 naira. Now, now 600 naira, now be this thing. So, may I beg, would they beg government? They say now, if this uh, government, new government comes, this will be cheap. But we come to say now, now, so far, can't start. We won't get out of uh, 10 children, 7 children. How will we manage? And so that is just uh, the situation. Uh, usually, this place is usually behavior of people. In fact, if it's on normal day, not even for what is presently at stake in the state now, uh, by this time, I won't be able to stand freely uh, in this particular location where I am standing. But you can see I'm standing here freely, and nobody seems to be uh, obstructing because the market is very few, and people are not having the cash at hand to purchase the items. Or those who even have it have continued to complain the hike in price in this market here. You budget for us. Uh, anything, anything you have budget for us. If you come, what you want to is different from what you We are in one of the shops where people often come in this market too to purchase rice. And uh, same too, we try to find out what the price of rice is also saying in the market if the people are still buying it uh, at the normal price they buy it or there is also a, a change in price. Is it in reduction or there is an increment? And here we have someone who have just come uh, to purchase rice in the market. She tells us what her experience is like in this market. Yeah, what I observed so far, at last week, before the subsidy removed, when I came here, this rice is not even the type I bought. The original one I bought that day was 2,300. But this one that I don't even like, they say it's 2004. The one we are buying one eight is 2000, is 2000 naira. So they are in, the prices, there is increments on the prices. It's not reducing it. What I budget from house, I come to market, everything has changed. See the bees that I used to buy one six, now it's 2000 naira. So my budget has. I don't even just know. Ah, yes. See, now I wanted to buy rice now, two mudo. I have to buy one and a half because everything has changed. We also stumbled at a woman who has just gone into the market to make a purchase of one goods or the other. And she also shares with us her experience and what she saw inside the market. This is the okra of uh, 50 naira before. But I bought this okra now, 100 naira. This is very, very expensive in, inside the market now. We don't know what to do in this country again. Even fish of uh, 300 naira, 600 naira now. Many things. You cannot buy anything of, uh, before if you go to market, you can make soup with 1,000 naira. But now, even 2,000 naira cannot make any pot of soup. Let's talk about the transportation. How, what, is the, what is the cost of transportation in the state? Uh, before we, we enter Keke from uh, Sabongari to market, 50 naira. Now it's 100 naira. We also try to find out from the sellers in the market what is the level of the patronage and what is the cost of the items they sell in the market. Are they still selling it at the same price or there is a change in price? And this is what they have to say about it. Yes, since I will say the truth. Number one, the fuel issue is affecting everybody in Nigeria, especially with the market people. Normally, last month we sell this crayfish, the bag at the rate of 80 thousand naira. We bought it last month, but now we are selling, we are buying it at the rate of 120 thousand naira. And the main thing there is that the crayfish is not at the ground now, since it is very scarce now. I don't even see to buy now, so I'm preparing to travel now. But they call me, ask me not to come because there's no fuel. 
to go to the river and aggregate the fish. So the fish, we don't have anywhere to buy now. The entrance to the market here is free of traffic. And this is not unconnected to the rise or the increase in price of food items in this market. The situation has become worrisome to residents of Kano State and they could only hope that it will get better in the coming days. Ayo Adinaye, Arise News Kano.